from a massive warning for cryptos, including Dogecoin, coming from Thailand to all the latest crypto updates. There is a lot to talk about in this video, so let's see what exactly is happening. So Thailand Security and Exchange Commission said on Wednesday that the usage of crypto as a form of payment will be prohibited from April 1. Money laundering concerns and the central bank's unwillingness to intervene and help were listed as reasons for the prohibition by the regulator. The Thai SEC clarified that this is not a ban on crypto trading or digital assets, which have grown in popularity among Thais in recent years, but rather a prohibition on the use of crypto for payments. In accordance with Thailand's broader attitude on digital assets, the regulator said it will highlight and promote the use of crypto technology. Thailand was one of the first countries to launch a digital currency backed by its central bank. So overall, it's bad news for now, but if we talk about its long-term implications, then we see a little hope for betterment since Thailand is not entirely banning cryptos. They are just prohibiting the use of crypto payments and not banning cryptos entirely. Besides, this news hasn't affected the overall crypto market as prices of cryptos remain unaffected in the entire process. Moreover, Thailand's government has revealed that they don't want to limit this emerging technology. So it means that they may allow crypto payments again in the future after their concerns and doubts are alleviated. Another point to note here is that some market makers are trying to use this news to spread FUD in the crypto market. They are trying to initiate another sell-off. But it appears that investors are not worried about this and they are not getting played by these market manipulators. Moving on, the Dogecoin price is stuck at $0.12 for the last 24 hours without showing any significant upside momentum. However, things are still not too bad for Doge as it is still moving above its 20 days moving average. Besides, its MXCD level is also sitting on the bullish side, which is showing us that investors are not getting involved in a sell-off. All in all, Dogecoin's overall outlook is still pretty bullish, and we can expect some positive momentum from it in the coming days. And now, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So Bitcoin's price is currently hovering around 42k with a slight upside momentum. Despite all this negative news coming from Thailand, Bitcoin has managed to avoid any sell-off. From a technical perspective, Bitcoin's overall trending behavior is looking good since it is moving above its crucial moving averages. Meanwhile, another good thing happening for Bitcoin is that its supply across crypto exchanges has dropped to a three-year low. According to recently published data from Glassnode and Bloomberg, this drop in Bitcoin's supply across exchanges might indicate that Bitcoin is about to break out. Seeing this, Stéphane Aulet, CEO of FRNT Financial, is saying that the 47k mark is an important milestone to watch since it is a break-even threshold for many new investors. She believes that Bitcoin's price is likely to stay within the current range until it breaks through that level since short-term investors may sell any rebound to recoup losses. Now it's time to discuss another significant update on Bitcoin. So according to prominent on-chain expert Willy Wu, the era of four-year Bitcoin market cycles is likely over. Wu warned his Twitter followers in October of last year that Bitcoin was likely trading in what he refers to as the final cycle. And now Wu believes that Bitcoin is showing the first traces of his previous cycle thesis, over half a year later. Besides, we are seeing that Bitcoin has been getting accumulated, which is good news for holders since it is a positive step towards a Bitcoin price boost. And with that being said, let's come to some latest updates about Metaverse cryptos. There is going to be a full-fledged spring fashion week in Metaverse, and let's talk about it. Tommy Hilfiger announced on Monday that the firm would participate in the inaugural Decentral and Metaverse Fashion Week, which will take place from March 24th to March 27th. The American fashion designing brand claimed it will present its spring 2022 collections during Metaverse Fashion Week and give consumers a digital shopping platform including Tommy Hilfiger-crafted NFTs. So, the wearables in this fashion week will be available to buy in NFTs, and I think it's quite optimistic news for metaverse and digital assets since these kinds of events are going to bring massive traction for cryptos like mana and sand. Moving on, now let's talk about the current prices of some metaverse coins. Sand's current price is around $3, whereas mana is stuck at $2.4 for now. Both cryptos witnessed a recovery rally recently along with the overall crypto market. Now seeing these latest updates about the rising adoption of Metaverse, I think that both Mana and Sand are going to get massive traction over the years.
So this means that both these coins are going to make some bullish moves in the long term. Now let's talk about a recently launched metaverse crypto ApeCoin. So ApeCoin became the most traded token among Ethereum whales immediately after its inception. According to statistics from WhaleStats, it is now among the top 10 crypto purchases made by the Ethereum network's 1,000 greatest whales. So it's great news for ApeCoin holders since its value is increasing dramatically along with its traction rate. Now there is another positive news for ApeCoin. So Time, the New York-based news magazine and publisher, has announced that ApeCoin will soon be accepted as payment for its digital membership services amid the hype around the introduction of ApeCoin. Before this announcement, 11 residencies in Miami and Saltwater Brewery also revealed their plans to take ApeCoin as payment for their services. Meanwhile, Yuga Labs, the company behind the Bored Ape Yacht Club, has also hinted at the advent of an ApeCoin-powered metaverse. Overall, it's great news for ApeCoin with regard to its market value and stability in the long term. Now, it's time to shed some light on Cardano's performance these days. So Cardano has been one of the best performing assets in the crypto top 10 by market size over the previous 7 days, while Bitcoin and other cryptos have remained steady. Over this time span, Cardano's price has gained over 15% in comparison to AVAX, Ethereum, and Solana, and increases might continue on other timescales. Cardano is doing pretty well overall, and its price stability is also higher than other coins, so overall Cardano's market is secure and stable in the long term. But not only that, as developers investigate new mechanisms, Cardano is poised to pull off a mind-blowing rally. The Hydra development plan has been modified, a new transaction procedure is being finished that will give token burning functionality to the Cardano blockchain. According to a recent report, the Hydra team examined the choices of token minting and burning within a Hydra head, as well as scenarios of employing tokens instead of datums. So if we talk about the long-term implication of this modification, it implies that burning diminishes the total quantity of the currency, and it becomes rare. And because of the shortage, prices may rise, resulting in significant returns for investors. To put it another way, burning tokens tends to boost an asset's price and is generally regarded as a good action. And now, let's come to Luna as there is bullish news for it. So Luna's price has risen about 90% since bottoming out at around $47 on February 20 and is now aiming for a run above $100. Besides, Luna is showing signs of long-term growth. According to crypto expert Altcoin Sherpa, the DeFi payment network Luna appears robust on shorter timescales as it continues to record higher lows. So overall Luna is doing great by all means. On the other hand, there is negative news for Shiba Inu, so let's see what that is. So while most cryptos have increased in value during the last week, Shiba Inu has lost more than 17% in that time. But the good thing is that despite the fact that Shiba Inu is down 72% from its all-time high, the crypto asset is still up by around 37% versus the US dollar in the previous year. Now another thing is that if you ask about market analysis, it says that Shiba Inu pricing, like the rest of the market, has been low for some months. So this isn't a Shiba Inu specific problem. Furthermore, Shiba Inu's price has been rising in lockstep with the rest of the market, so it is likely to grow if the wider market continues to rise. And now, let's talk about some top performing altcoins to look for this week. So over the previous week, Four low-cap cryptos have gained 100% or more, vastly outpacing Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto markets. Over the course of seven days, the price of Step N increased by 200%, jumping from $0.28 cents to $0.84. Cents. Meanwhile, the price of GMT is presently $0.78 cents after witnessing a 50% growth. And Jasmine, a data democratization platform founded by many former Sony executives, is also on the rise. Over the course of the week, Jasmine coin increased by 193%, moving from a low of $0.016 to $0.047. Then Origin Protocol is next on the list of top gainers. The ecosystem is based on the Ethereum blockchain and focuses on NFTs and DeFi, as well as having its own stablecoin dubbed Origin Dollar. It has also witnessed massive growth in the recent past. Now, let's talk about the top three most traded metaverse cryptos. So first of all, High Street has been one of the best performers this week, with a price increase of nearly 90% in the last seven days.
By transforming actual things into in-game objects, High Street's metaverse gives them new functionality. And Ethernity has secured the second position in the most traded coins this week. Some of the best-designed NFTs may be found on the Ethernity chain. Currently, they have over 30 collections with over 100k NFTs in their marketplace. And number third is Alien Worlds, which is based on the WAX blockchain, but it also has BNB integration. All in all, these are the top three low-cap metaverse cryptos that are getting some positive traction. So, what's your opinion on Thailand banning crypto as a means of payment, and how do you see the progress of Bitcoin and altcoins? Let us know about your stance on these crypto updates in the comment section.